I'm Timothy Allen. I'm a theoretical biologist who studies complexity. But I was originally trained as a botanist. And botanists study seeds and sperm floating in water and things like that. So imagine a dioan seed, which is a gymnosperm. And the sperm comes down in through a little hole and is injected into its own private swimming pool. And it swims around there for about six months before the egg inside gets ready, and then there's sexual fusion. When you see it, it really does swim. It looks like a little plankton cell. So you can think of it as a plankton cell that's brought its own ocean with it. <laughs> and if you extend that to us, the concentration of various solutes and such in our bodies quite close to seawater. You know, maybe we are a bunch of zooplankton who've brought their ocean with them. Except it's more radical than that. That is to say, we always think of life as being carbon-based. So here's my brain, carbon-based life. 80, 90% of it's water. M maybe we're missing the point. <laughs> In fact, living systems are all colloidal. And the colloidal base is water. And various things float around with electric charges in them. And when you die, your chemistry stays the same. But you start leaking. <laughs> That's what happens immediately. And the reason is the water has lost control. You've curdled. <laughs> OK, so when we think of life, we normally think of success in life as, as fitness or growth or increased numbers or all of that. Those are all very carbon-based ideas. What about the concept of work? I would say that a living system is doing better if it's getting more work done. You know the trouble is, photosynthesis doesn't provide enough energy to do enough work. Most of the work that's done in an ecological system with plants in it, it's done by the latent heat of vaporization of water. <laughs> so basically, and I've done some experiments on this too, and we found plants which are more effective, and as they become more effective, their upper surface gets cooler because they're evaporating more water. And you can, you know if you get hold of a, a, of a couple of Coke bottles and put them together and the flow goes down and you get this whirlpool? Well, the gradient, that's a gravity gradient. The gradient for life, though, I think, is warm planet, cold outer space. And what we do is to shorten that gradient, grab hold of the heat of the planet and turn it into work. So in a certain sense, then, you don't have any life on Mars because there isn't any water to get organized. <laughs> you see, it's water that's the organizing factor here. And you think of a tree as a device for moving water and such. And in a certain sense, the carbon is in control. No, 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 no. Looking at it this way, it's really that a tree is water's device. <laughs> of interfacing between soil and air, but instead of without a tree you can only interface the top centimetre, you can in fact go down a whole metre or so. So water is what life is about. Carbon is something it uses, and it just uses that thermodynamic gradient. Remember, I said that we might be zooplankton that have brought their ocean with us? No, we're not. We're some ocean that's brought its zooplankton with it. <laughs> You're mostly water. Water's in control of life. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>